Hey. Uh, hey. Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. Thank you. Um, please pick your call. Okay. Uh, can I please take it outside? Oh yeah, sure. How are you? Say that one more time and thunder will fire you. <sighs> How your customer now? Black, black, you don't decrease, Sabi. Are you not the one in a strange man's house? Eh? Ah, uh, what were you trying to say to me last night? What was I saying? What did I say to you? I can't remember anything. What? You don't remember? That's what I'm actually calling you. I was wondering what you were trying to say to me. Did I call you last night? <sighs> Please, girl. I said it. You were drunk. <sighs> Why won't I be drunk? This girl. I told you not to get drunk, so you'll be able to run if you guess to wait. Ah, when did you get drunk? Before or after you met him? Right before I decided to go home with him. So you were sober when you met him? I had to make sure I was talking to someone who is decent looking. Mm. Those ones are the worst. Wolves in sheep skin. What you're doing right now is making things even worse for me. It doesn't matter. You've done the job already. Just collect the money and start coming home. See, I beg, just get out. Thank you for last night. My pleasure. Um, I know we didn't talk about money, but I thought you could um, get yourself some things. Uh, I I didn't talk about money. I, I just said that. 
No, it's it's fine, but I don't need it for anything. Um, you know, I'm actually giving you this for my heart. I, I guess this doesn't mean anything. It's fine. I I had a nice time just like you did. Did you? Yes, I did. Be on my way now. Okay. Okay, um, see you maybe next time. See you, maybe. Should I see you? No, no, thank you. Okay. my charger. I'm sorry, I... Calm down. What happened? Um, the guy, the the, 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 the the new guy, my my friend. Yes, your customer. Yeah, what happened? He's having a seizure. What? I, I, I don't know what's wrong. He, he's shaking, and it seems it looks like he's he's going to die. Hey, no, no, no! Don't say that. Don't say that. Just hold on. Oh, okay. Zainab, can you just say something fast? I am googling some information. Uh, uh, okay, uh, I'll have to go back inside the room then. Babe, what am I supposed to do? Just do everything I am going to read to you now. What if it doesn't work? Do it first now. Just stay calm. Losing everything around the neck. Is he wearing something tight? He's not wearing anything. Okay, okay. Um, 
check your time now and monitor the time. The seizure shouldn't take more than five minutes. In fact, two to three minutes should be the maximum time. Anything beyond five minutes may be very dangerous according to this medical science. I just checked my time now. Okay. Um, do not restrain him or put anything in his mouth. Did you try to hold him down? No, 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 no. I, 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 I didn't touch him. I didn't touch him. Okay, okay. Um, clear the area around him. There is nothing around him. Okay. Um, put a pillow on. Put a pillow or a soft clothes under his head. What? Just do it now. Okay. Is it throwing up? No, 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 he's not. <sighs> okay, um, if he starts, then turn him to one side, gently. Ah! Any side. Um, uh, people, I, I can't touch him. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, uh, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just stay here and I'll watch him till, till he's still shit. Did it stop? Uh, baby, you really do not know how terrifying this is. Terrifying or not terrifying, you have to monitor him without touching him. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh, oh. I got to mess with him. Baby, what if he's going to die? Hey, can you stop, stop saying that? Um. Find this phone and see if you can find some family number to call. What, what if his phone is locked? Stop letting fear paralyze you, please. Some guys don't even lock their phones. Try to open it first. <laughs> Type mom, sister, brother, or dad, one of them will pop up. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, baby, need to see how my hands are shaking. Um. Relax, relax, breathe, breathe. Type mom. Uh, okay, uh. did you find anything? Yes, uh, it's mom. Uh, okay, so, so, so what am I supposed to say to her? Say to her as fast as you can that um, her son is having a seizure in his house and she should call his doctor or anybody that can come over to his house and help him and just drop the call. Uh, uh. Stop crying, just do it. Uh, uh, you, you, your son Raphael is having a seizure. I, I, I think you should just send a doctor or send somebody to help. This is happening to me right now. Relax. What if they live so far away? The seizure will soon stop. And just make sure there's nothing that can hurt him around where he's lying. Uh, there is nothing there. Okay, then wait for his mother to come. Huh? Uh, even if she's living far away, I'm sure there has to be someone she can send to come to the house. <sighs> Man. I almost ran out of this house, but I just couldn't. Ah, 
Thank God it didn't run though, because that estate has CCTV cameras everywhere. Even if nothing happens to him, they will still find your running suspicious. How did you know about this estate? Auntie, everybody knows about that estate. It is the most expensive in that area. You follow which mango has now. I just wish I never did. Um, I, I, I think someone is here. Just put the phone, don't drop the call. Just put the phone where I can hear everything that is going on. Do it now. Uh, uh, okay. I need to. Uh, let me reach the doctor. Sweetheart. Huh. What happened? Kendra, listen. Now you listen to me. Make sure that girl doesn't step an inch and find out who the heck she is. Yes, now you go. I don't see the thing, babe. I'm already tired. Like, I'm so scared right now. Who are you? Um, my name is Tubim. And what do you mean? Who are you to my brother? A friend. Um, casual or platonic. Yeah. Did you sleep in this house? Yes, I did. How long have you been here? Since last night. Where did you meet my brother? Um, I met him at the Blue Rocks Lounge. Last night, I suppose? Yes. So, you frequent the lounge? What do you mean? You met my brother last night and you made it to his house. So where do you meet people that you go home with? And Sammy, I'm talking to you. Um, Kendra, a minute, please. Listen, please stay here. If you leave, we will find you. There are hundreds of CCTV cameras in this estate. Is that clear? Oh God, what have I gotten myself into? Hello, Zainab. Um, I just got off the call with the doctor. I asked about Rafael's medical history so that I will know what we're looking at. And? This is his first ever seizure. Of course, you should know he has never conversed before. Well, we don't live here. That was why I asked. Which is the main reason why we need to be headed to the hospital right now? About that, the doctor said he's on his way because he needs to take blood samples within 20 minutes of the seizure. So, he's on his way. 
is there no way we could have test of um, brain or his body? Or better still, go and meet the doctor instead of him coming here. Well, the doctor said he'll be here in 20 minutes. And uh, besides, he said if this wasn't his first seizure, we'll be looking at epilepsy. What? Yeah, he said the condition could be traced to various factors, including genetic influence and a host of many other issues. Benjamin, this is the main reason why we need to be going to the hospital right now. Kendra, the doctor you are going to the hospital to meet said you should wait for 20 minutes. So we are going to wait. He'll be here. Fine. Okay, well, um... That's what I wanted to tell you because I need to... So you can meet that idiot girlfriend that you're dating? <laughs> what are you talking about? What so... am I talking about? You think I don't know that both of you are planning to go to Dubai tomorrow? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Who told you that? Who told me that? You should know your girlfriend. She's here, there, there. Social media, of course. I even overheard her talking to her friend the last time she came to the house. You can't tell mom. Of course, I won't tell her because you're not going anywhere. I, Kendra, we've been planning this thing since. Look, Benjamin, whatever you planned, you need to cancel everything because we are in a critical condition that we need to face. Uh, but the doctor said it could be as a result of high sugar, low blood sugar, lack of sleep, and a host of many other issues which can happen to anybody. And that might be what we are facing now. Look, it may be, it may not be. Look, there are more complicated issues we need to focus on right now. Please tell your girlfriend you are not traveling to Dubai tomorrow. I really need to continue talking to that girl. Now, Ashi, she will. Yes. Since when did Raphael start bringing Ashis to the house? Like you said, we don't stay in this house. So I'm not the best person you should be asking that question. I need to go and continue what I started, okay? Please let her. No. She's the only eyewitness to what happened to you. Mom, which is why I'm still wondering how. She already left here before the whole thing started. I get it now. She gave you something and tried to run away. Does it? Mom, are you listening to what you're saying? Mom, you said she called you, right? If she gave me something, would she do that? Oh. That's because she changed her mind. Oh yes, she realized that this estate is known for zero tolerance for crimes and that she will be caught. Mom, please let her go. This is the first time she's coming to this house. She, has, she knows nothing about this estate. She knows absolutely nothing about this estate. So if she called you, it's because she wanted to. No. Mm -mm. I will not let her. Mom, please. And please, do not argue with me on why I brought a gay man in this house. All right? Just take a look at what happened to you. Can you imagine you and that strange girl all alone in this house? Uh, what's going on? He wants the strange girl to go after revealing he just met her last night. Um, Mom, I don't see any to keep her here. Besides, Raphael needs to rest. If anything happens to my son... Mm -hmm. Nothing will happen to your son. He's sitting right next to you, alive. <laughs> Besides, the doctor is on his way. Well, I should at least have a contact, just in case. Fine. I'll take her home. Find out where she lives, get her phone number, and I might even trace her to her village if possible. Can you imagine? Do you think I'm joking? Look at this boy. You two like women. You're just like your father. Mom, I only offered to take her home. I thought you'd appreciate the fact that I was trying to get information from her roots. Mom. I already have a number and she's not leaving until everyone is satisfied. Kendra, I will take her home. <laughs> she called mom and if she wanted to run, she would have. So everybody, chill. Mom, 
Are you letting her go? Is that me? Is it not your brother? Ralph! Let her go. Let her go, please. Mama. Please just let her go. Benjamin, where are you going to? With her back. <laughs> Is it is your brother? Is it Benjamin? My God, hey. you look like a ghost. It's hey. okay. Come here. Come. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. Babe, I have never seen this type of thing in my entire life. God. Ah. Imagine your first dance and I shall walk on it now like this. What will not happen on the second and third day? Feel like you don't demand. <laughs> Maybe you won't go try and shower walk. You said you're on scales, them they make too much money so quick and you want to try. You don't try now, you don't go see. You don't conquer. The worst part is that I didn't even collect the money you offered me. Wait, you mean you negotiated with him? No, he, but he offered me. And you refused? The whole idea was for you to collect the money you didn't negotiate for, which is the difference between street prostitution and runs. Babe, you don't understand. The money lost taste the moment he offered it to me. You need to learn well before going back on the streets. Which streets? God forbid. Ah, uh -uh, You see this experience? I have never experienced it in my entire life. Ah, uh ah, -uh, now. not be every client they converse now. I don't understand. If the clients like, make it converse. If you like, make it no converse. Ain't no concern me. But you see this particular business, I am done. <laughs> there is nothing taking me back to it. <laughs> eh? And babe, you needed to see the way the sister spoke to me. I overheard most of them. Don't worry, it comes with the job. Which job? The one you started yesterday. <laughs> Don't worry, very soon you will start enjoying it. Hmm? You know, say you no know, get sense. Now me make mistake, carry my phone, call you. Why are you you not do the business? I have a job. Managing projects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are the one in between jobs. You are even lucky that guy is not one of these Yahoo Plus guys. By now. <laughs> it would have been a rest in peace case. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. <sighs> Hi! Welcome, oh, welcome home. What did I do now? You know you're not supposed to let her leave until we are sure of what is going on. Are you the police? Since when did you become Detective Kendra? Do I need to be a detective before I know that you're not supposed to let her leave until we are sure that everything is fine? What can she possibly do to Raphael? Are you kidding me right now? Listen, if it was poison, it would have been obvious by now. It had better not be poison. Because if we trace that it's poison, then God will punish her. Do you realize 
she didn't come here all by herself. Raphael brought her. If Raphael is okay with her leaving, let it be. It's like something is wrong with you. Uh, Kendra. What? Kendra, calm down now. I love Edna, and you know that. But you lied, you guys are not together anymore. That's because you and mom don't like her. And you know Raphael is indifferent about things like this. And what does that have to do with anybody? Kendra, you. You, I just need your support. And then we can work on mom from there. You know, like we used to. No to buy for you, Benjamin. These women. So what happens now? What? Raphael. We will run a thorough test through the blood and to be sure if we're looking at a a generalized uh, tonic clonic seizure here, or a complex uh, partial seizure. Whatever that means. Well, until I interpret before I am even sure of it. But. Uh, yeah, exactly. That was what I was waiting for, the bot. Yes, I am ordering an EEG uh, immediately to ascertain the level of electrical activities of your brain. And then uh, what it is telling me. As, uh, Do you know what you're looking for? I'm just suspecting because this is the first time. And what could it be? Epilepsy? Yeah, but it's loosely here. Yeah. It's loosely. Mm. Never mind, Raphael. This is not the only cause of seizures, all right? This is not the only cause of seizures. All the things uh, could cause it. But for now, yeah, we will run tests. We'll have you come to the hospital, we'll run more tests and then we'll show of what to do. Then, then I can give you a defined uh, answer. Hmm? Okay. So who, who, who found you on the floor? I like to talk to the person. Why? Uh, just to know the intensity of the seizure. Look, Doc, I can tell you. I can tell you it was intense. Raphael. Most of the time, you were on the floor. You weren't aware of what was happening. So there's no way you can know. Huh? What? Who? Uh, your mom? A girl I met at the lounge. Raphael, when did you start bringing women home? Doc, I don't want to talk about her. Well, fine. The well, test will tell me what I'm looking at here. I actually thought it was a member of the family that found you. Uh, I was already conscious when my family got in. Okay. It's all right. Uh, we'll have you come to the hospital over the week. We'll run more tests. All right. Okay, Doc. Thank you. For now, rest and take care of yourself. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure, bro. All right. All right, you rest now. Hmm? Yeah, rest. Thank you. I will. All right, thank you. Bye. Hello. Thank you. Huh? Can you take me to where you dropped off? The person, um, sorry. The lady, the babe. Yes. Why? I want to ask her what she's for. And how does asking help you? At least it will stop me from imagining how the whole thing went. I, I just need to find out. Bro, this might be a one-off thing, so... But what if it's not? Okay, you know what? Let's not look at that direction. Besides, your girlfriend called and she was complaining. She said you haven't been picking her calls. She's on her way. <sighs> Thank you. Um, I put my phone on silence. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, you need to get some rest. Okay? Yeah. Do you need anything? Oh, no, I'm fine. Yeah, thank you.
Are you still shaken by what happened? No. I am okay. How long have we known each other? Zainab, I said I am okay. I am not asking you if you're okay or not. We have known each other for a long time. And I know exactly what led you to that lounge. Which was a very stupid decision. We have moved past why you should go home with someone you do not know. I am aware that the people who do that are aware of the risks and they are ready for it. How did I get to the point of seeing that as an option? Survival. You lost your job because your company folded. And after several interviews, you're here to get a call back from anyone. And you've got bills to pay. And I couldn't think of anything else. Dubim, I am trying to tell you that you need to move past it. I know you, you're going to keep thinking about this over and over again, paralyzing yourself with regrets. If you can think of something else you can do to be making money, then we should focus on it. Seizure didn't kill the guy. So you're not in trouble. You're at home and you're alive. I am not even asking you to move out. So you have a roof over your head. The question now is, what do you want to do to earn some money? What do you want to do? Maybe learn an online skills and get a remote job while I wait for other companies to call me back. I, I really cannot think of anything right now. I just can't. I also thought about the learning a skill thing and let's just focus on that and forget about everything else, okay? Thank you. That is the part I'm yet to understand. If you said your mom called you after she was called, who then called your mom? Um, that's what I was actually saying. Um, Ben, Ben called mom. Oh, Ben was here. Yes. Um. Ben came here first, and, and then when we came, he was already seated up. He was no longer on the floor. That's you and your mom? Yes. Okay. I don't even know what to say. I just can't wait for the doctor to get back with the test results. Sophia, that's the main reason why she needs to stay back and monitor things. Wait, are you trying to say this will happen again? I don't know. Look, we need to put our minds together and hope for the best. It's fine. I'll stay. Yeah. <sighs> Hi. Hello. Please, we are here to see the baby. And you are? Ben. And this is my brother, Raphael. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Don't worry, the baby knows us. Can we come in? Yes. Hello. Hi. Um, oh. uh, hi, the baby. Um, hi. Um, can we take a seat? 
Sure. Thank you. Um, Dubey, my brother has been curious about what happened yesterday. Um, what do you mean? Um, what made you come back? Did you hear me scream or did you hear me fall? Well, I... I didn't hear anything. I forgot my phone charger and came back for it. Okay. If you were asked to describe the intensity of the seizure, what would you say? Um, well, I have never seen anyone convulse in my life. Hmm. And I was numb. I, I didn't know what to do, so Zena put me through. Oh. She was on call with me all through the time. She practically put me through everything and um, even calling your mom. I was too dazed to think. You were shaking so fast and I thought you were going to, to die. Hmm. Thank you for calling my family. And thank you for helping out. Thank God we are okay now. Thank God. Um, so we just came here to find out what happened. Okay. Yeah, um, thank you so much. We'll keep in touch, okay? We'll be in touch. Okay, All right. sure. Bye. Bye. Sure you're okay. Yeah, sure, I am. Where are you coming from? Um why are you staring at me? I just asked the question. Um we're we're coming from the hospital. The hospital? Oh. Yes. What did the doctor say? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Um uh, we're still awaiting results, so he asked him to come home and rest. Okay. Get some rest. All right, baby, come let me take care of you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Benjamin, whatever happens, don't make mention that he brought Ash into this house. I know the story. I was the one who called mom. Besides, I got your message. Mom will say the same thing too. Mm -hmm. You still feel I can't take my woman to the bar? Hmm. Do you want me to tell mom? Calm down, mom. Okay. Okay. You know your mother can disown someone at the slightest provocation. And I do not belong to the streets. I need her mom. Thank God you know your mother. If you just tempt me, you know the drill. Why can't I go to Dubai? Because you are not going. You want to ask again? Okay. Are you sure? Yes, But I am apologizing for everything. I just want us to get back together. Yeah, I was upset then, but I am no longer upset. That is what I am saying. I just want us to get back together again. Like, I don't care about what happened or didn't happen. Listen, Andy, I don't want us to argue again. I am tired of that. Okay, so when are you seeing me? When? Okay, fine. Um, okay, I'll be expecting your call. Okay, bye. 
How long have you been here? <laughs> Are my ears pinning me? Did you just finish talking to your ex? Um, we are getting back together. No. No, 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 no. You were begging him to get back with you. What is wrong with you? That guy treated you so badly and he's a chronic cheat. Look, babe, at this point, I think I need him. For what? Zainab, I will be fine. Okay. I get it that you're very emotional about everything right now. You are broke and you have no resemblance of a love life. But please, do not do this. You are going to regret it. I will be fine. Okay. Fine. Enjoy. What? A video that is trending that I asked my friend to send to me. <laughs> what is it all about? A girl that slept with my friend's fiance recorded it and posted online. Can you imagine? <coughs> um, I don't understand. How is it possible that she was like able to record without him knowing about it? Um, maybe. She follows the guy to his hotel room and planted a camera in there. Not at all. The girl went to his house. And while the guy was sleeping, she recorded him. Uh, for what? Some type of manner changing online, I guess. Could you believe the girl actually called my friend? And my friend confronted her fiancé. Trust Adam. He denied it. He swore no other lady has ever entered his house. Then she posted the video. Of course. Benjamin, what do you make out of what Sophia said? Well, if you're talking about the possibilities of Dubim recording Raphael while he was having his seizure, then yes, that's what I'm thinking. Or even sleeping with him. No, no, no. He has to be like really passed out for that. You know he's responsible with alcohol. <laughs> really? Responsible with alcohol? Would you have ever imagined that we would bring an ash into this house? I guess you're right. Look, we really need to do something really fast. Um, what would she do with the video even if she had any? Really? Take a look at this house. Is it not obvious that Raphael is wealthy? That's true. We really need to do something really fast. First thing tomorrow morning. Hold on. Oh, hi, Dubin. Um, hi. I hope there is no problem. <laughs> Can we come in? Um, sure. Is okay. I hope your brother is fine. Uh, yes, he is. Okay, Dubim. I really want us to be open to each other. Um, I want us okay. to talk about something very important. Okay. I know 
things are really hard. And that's why you're into what you're into. And um Oh, hi Zeno. Hi. Um, this is my sister Kendra. We came to see you today. Obviously. Hi, Kendra. Hello. Um, Dubim, can we actually talk to you alone? Why? Because what we want to talk to you about is private. Um, she knows about your brother, so you can talk. Okay, fine. Since you want us to talk about it here, I really wanted to make things less embarrassing for you. I don't understand what you're talking about. Okay, so here is the thing. Do you have need for money? Do you want us to help you with anything? Of what? Okay. You need something, and we need something too. So we can come to an agreement and get over with it. I honestly do not still understand what you're talking about. You followed my brother home. And you stayed with him till morning. And then you called us. Um, yeah, your brother needed help and I had no idea on how to, to do it. So that's why I called. Which I understand and that is why I was actually asking you if you need anything that we can help you with. <laughs> Wait. Are you accusing her of something? I am not accusing her of anything. I am trying to find out about something that she has so that we can know if we can start paying for it and get things over it. You are not making sense. Oh lady, please. Can you let me talk to her? This is why I requested that I speak to you in private. Excuse you. Um, Zeno, hello, please. Um, let me explain what we have been trying to say. There is no need to to get. No, 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 no. If she's accusing her of something, she should just say it quick than oozing some high no. level of disrespect. No. Oh, please, you are the one being disrespectful here. If you didn't come into a conversation that doesn't concern you, uh, lady, babe. Please. Do you realize that you're standing in our house? So. Which house? What's so special about this house? Hey! Take your sister out of here. Before I touch her! Look, I am not like the beam that takes anything Oh, I am constantly on a short fuse when it comes to some kind of people! Take your sister out of here! Zainab. I am warning you now. Zainab, please. Okay, we really need to talk about this. I am not kidding you. I am dead serious! Fine, fine. Uh, Kendra, go to the... Look, I am done with this conversation, okay? Kendra. Listen, if I hear or see anything, I will sue the living daylight out of both of you. Kendra, come. Benjamin, let's leave this shit home. <laughs> right now. Zena, <laughs> uh, um, please, okay? I'm so sorry about this. Um, but I really need to ask Dubim about something. So you will have to live with her. I swear. I am not in the right frame of mind to answer any question. Maybe next time. Fine. Fine. Uh, I will be in touch. <laughs> Kendra! Kendra, what did you just do in there? What are you talking about? I did nothing. Whatever her name is was just jumping into what was not her business. Was that why you had to go confrontational? You told me you only wanted to speak to her woman to woman. What was that? That was what I was doing. Kendra, do you know that if she actually has anything against Raphael, she would use it now? You even threatened them. I have not even started. I will come for them. Can you listen to yourself? You will come for them? Probably after they've released the damn video of Raphael that can never be erased. Today and here was definitely not the place for you to do your usual display. What do you mean by my usual display? Let's go. Benjamin, I am talking to you. Thanks for nothing. 
Listen, you really need to start learning how. Open this door. I'm going to collect these car keys very soon because I really do not know what you're doing. Because I really do not know why you will be telling me. Oh my goodness. This is really crazy. the phone when you were at their place and I couldn't even stand the stupid questions she was asking you and then she walks in here and repeats that pomposity I was only trying to understand what they were talking about that I still do not understand I do not care what she was trying to say how she was saying it was off-putting <sighs> babe you can't just let them talk to you that way because they saw you in their house you did the right thing by staying back and making that call that is compassion if they do not understand it, they should go to hell. Ah! I don't get that kind of patience when you get to. You know me now, babe. I go match person. What's going on? Kendra! Ben, let's see how Well, not Jerry. You know Kendra now. Miss Cheerleader. Hey. Yeah, who's there? What's up? Um, are you okay? Yeah, I just, I just want to be by myself. Uh, okay, you might want to hear this. What? Um, Kendra and I went to see the beam. For what? Well, we were having um, dinner with Sophia yesterday and she was talking about how her friend's fiancé's naked video got leaked on the internet. <laughs> I have a feeling the babe might have recorded you. Why would she record me? <laughs> Probably before you started convulsing, when you guys were together. I don't know. Why would I have seen her? Maybe she might have hidden the camera or when you were asleep. Why are you sounding so sure? I don't know. Just feeling. Why would she do that? Money, of course. Well, we couldn't get her to say anything. But when we were on our way back, I realized that if she had any video, she wouldn't have said anything until she gets what she wants. Jesus. I do want to see me convulsing. I have a plan. We have to get close to her. Get her to trust us. And even if there's a video like that, we take it off her hands. Even if we have to compensate her. What do you think? Babe, I'm sorry for the way I walked them out yesterday. I was really pissed by the way she was talking. 
I am not concerned about that. Why you can't they bomb me since last night? I don't need a babysitter. I keep telling you this. Dubim, I swear. I admire your tolerance of people. But sometimes some people don't deserve that. She was talking to you like you were nothing. Does she not go to somebody's house? She know they go boyfriend house. She thinks I am a prostitute. <laughs> and how is that her business? If you are a prostitute, that makes her brother one. Are you telling me that she talks to her brother the way she talked to you? I don't care. I was only trying to understand what you were talking about. But you got pissed and not only walked them out, but got angry for me not speaking out. I am still trying to understand what you were trying to say. Okay, fine. I am sorry. I will manage my emotions when it concerns you. But when that person now walk out into my territory, there's going to be some beating. Ah. It's soon like fight. Mm. I like... Oh, that, that must be Andy. He sent me a text that he was close. Hey, hey, hey Andy. <laughs> hey. I'm okay. Um, that's fine. <laughs> so, how are you? I'm fine, are you? <laughs> okay, good. good. Thank you. Yeah. So, see. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Ah, let me just shut this quickly. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I was busy. <laughs> I missed you. I've missed you too. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. So what were you up to? I was just working on my project. Oh. Um, look, I think I, I have to tell Sophia the truth. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, how do I intend to manage both relationships and make it look believable. Why is it that the simple things guys do are always hard for you? What are you talking about? Bro, normally guys they run like five, six, seven girls. But then oh. you just have two and it's hard for you. Apart from a girlfriend, is anyone you seen? Before, you know, then they reached five, but that was before. Now I'm, I'm a changed person. Mm, and you're proud of it? Well, no, but in situations like this, they come in handy. Okay, and you think people are supposed to prepare for such situations? That's not what I'm saying. Fine, fine, you win. Uh, but telling Sophia, bro, telling Sophia will spoil your relationship. I'm not about to cheat on her. You ain't done the cheat already. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I'm sorry. Whatever it is you and Dubim did, it's none of my business. But the Sophia that I know, <laughs> she wouldn't take the truth. So it's either you sneak around or you lose her. Pick one. Don't be too sure. I, um, bro. Hmm? Sorry. <sighs> My God. <laughs> I, I was thinking of like moving in because um, I want to give Kendra some space. Mental health. Brother. Enjoy. Brother. <laughs> oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey baby, are you okay? Uh, yeah. What's wrong? Um, I want to tell you something, come. See. <clears throat> Is this something the doctor said? Um, no. <clears throat> uh, um, I want to tell you the truth. What truth? Um, <clears throat> the day I had the seizure, I had a woman here. What woman? A lady, a lady I met at the lounge. You mean you you brought a woman here? Uh, babe. And you you had the effrontery to tell me you brought a woman here, babe, look, Raphael. I couldn't keep it anymore. I couldn't. I know we've had our issues, but who doesn't? Babe, it wasn't intentional. Look, I had no plans to even meet or bring a lady into this house. It just happened. Do you know the kind of disrespect you just gave me? Babe. You think it's easy to replace me or what we had? How about you try? Babe, Go to hell, Raphael! Babe, please. Babe, babe. Go please. to hell, Raphael! Go to hell! Babe, please, I'm... I don't know why you guys are so oh, unappreciating. Let me... I babe. gave you everything, Raphael. Babe, please, at least let me just explain now. Babe, listen to me. Benjamin, what is going on? I'm hearing voices. Well, um, Raphael is telling Sophia the truth. What? Why would Raphael tell Sophia the truth about bringing a prostitute into this house? Well, you know him. He's a decent guy. Decent guy, my foot. What decent guy brings a prostitute into his own house? Stay out of their business now. Meaning what? Why will you encourage Raphael to tell her the truth? I did everything I could for you, but yes! You brought the lady you just met into this babe. house. Go to her, Raphael! Babe, it wasn't this Don't you dare, baby! Babe, give me the game, I, I, I didn't feel! Babe, please! Nobody tells Raphael what to do. Why are you blaming it on me? Why would I blame you? I Wait, Sophia, Kendra, you lied to me. You told me it was Ben that called your mother. That was a stupid thing to do. No, Sophia, let me explain. Sophia! You happy now? I do. Get out! You were right. I shouldn't have told her. We both know you wouldn't have had that secret for longer. She didn't even let me explain. No one ever wants to share. I didn't mean to hurt her. Ralph. <sighs> what happened to you? I mean, why did you have to go to the lounge? Why did you have to bring a woman to the house? You should, you've never done that before. You're not that kind of guy. Ben, look. Sophia and I have grown apart. We've practically exhausted everything in our relationship. I told you having mom and Kendra link you guys up wasn't a good idea. But then, you guys seem to have, you know, Kicked off really quick. The truth is actually like her. I do. But there's no connection anymore. The connection is not there. So I thought, okay, I needed to cool off, you know, and I remembered that there's this lounge. Yeah, lounge three street away from the house. And I said, you know what, let me just go there. Perhaps I can just take a GOPO. 
have a drink, listen to loud music, and come back home. Wait, was it the Blue Hacks Lounge you went to? Oh, yeah, exactly. When I got there, I saw this young lady sitting uncomfortable by herself. As a gentleman, I said, okay, let me go talk to her. Uh, wow, that's what the girls at that lounge do to get men. Like, <laughs> they're all innocently wild. That's what they do to get men there. You understand. I do. I do. And I've heard the reason you had to go to the lounge. She obviously got to you with her innocence. You have to play a game too. I mean, now you have no girlfriend to explain anything to. Just get her to fall in love with you and hmm. that's it. Oh, no, no, no. No, I can't do that. I can't. No. Think about who you are. And think about what your friends would say if that video leaks. And what if there's no video? Even better. At least <laughs> we just have to find out if there is a video. And you just have to get her into that relationship and get her to confess to it. And you use that to end the relationship. Everybody wins. Come on. Your career is on the line here. Think about it. It's a good idea. Your life, your career on the line. I should be taking my leave now. No, please don't go. <laughs> so you miss me this much and you never called? You didn't call me either. You had one that was being Shakara now. You're for me, big girl. You even walked away. Yeah, that's because I was angry. I caught you with another woman in your bedroom. Um, No, 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 no. I'm not saying this because I'm angry. I've moved on from that. Then it shouldn't be part of our conversation. Okay, fine. I promise. I'll talk about it again. Um, I, I should actually be taking my leave. leave. Are you angry? Um, no, um, I'm not. Okay, so when am I seeing you again? Or should I come over to yours? Um, no need. I'll, I'll come and see you. I, I like it here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> miss you already. Mm. I miss you too, baby. <laughs> Don't go. I have to. I'll still come back. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Ah. All right. Bye. <laughs> Is Zenoba around? No, she went to work. Um, I hope uh, this is the right time. Um, I was actually working on a project, but it's fine. Okay. Please, make yourself comfortable. Okay, thank you. Um, so, basically, I have no reason to come around, but I, I just wanted to talk. Okay, about what? Mm, friendship. Look, 
Actually, I don't have friends. And I felt um, coming here, saying hi and go, won't be a problem. But you told me at the lounge that you have a girlfriend. Well, yeah. But we just broke up. Why? I told her about you. About me? Why? Why would you do that? I couldn't keep the lie. I am so sorry. It's fine. It was my decision to make. You said you're studying something online, so what are you studying? Oh, um, project management. Oh, I see. Means you're preparing for the PMB exam? How did you know about it? <laughs> I run a project management firm. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, it's funny we didn't get to even know ourselves, you get, or talk to each other or something. Yeah, it was noisy that night. Terribly noisy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, can I take a look at what you're studying, if you don't mind? Sure. Okay. Sure. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, let's see. Um, um, okay, so... At work, I guess. At work? Mm hmm. I saw the doctor told him to take some time off. And he did. And he's obviously not at Sophia's place. And let me guess. You know that because you're coming from there. Of course, I'm supposed to know he's not there. Kendra, it's their relationship. Raphael and Sophia. Leave it for them. The fact that you and mom did the link up doesn't mean you have to be everywhere in it. Oh, really? Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Interesting. I can see you are finally moved in here. And enjoying it. Ah. Mm -hmm. You think I don't know what you and Edna are doing, Abby? Stay there and be deceiving yourself. Kendra knows everything. I always know everything. You cannot hide anything from me. Continue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, Zena. Um, I just came to see Dubin briefly. Okay. Look, Zina, I know you're a very good friend to Dubai. But I want to promise you that I will take good care of her. I will love her like I've never done before. Mm. I would like to see it first. Hey, babe! <laughs> Oh. I've missed you. I've missed you too. So, what do you have to say again? Andy is not good for me. And what next? Oh, I see you already know where I'm going. Oh. <sighs> Look, Zainab, maybe there is no ideal relationship. There is no relationship without respect or loyalty. Call it ideal or whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, maybe Andy and I will get there someday. You are settling, darling. <laughs> and by the time you are done with this whole search for love, you will regret it. Andy is neither respectful nor loyal to you. And again, Raphael comes here. What's with that one? 
I don't know. Or should I switch over to him? Keep mocking the truth, I'm telling you. I am not. He doesn't seem to be used to taking a woman he just met home. So he's trying to get to know you after you guys already went all the way. Well, I really do not know what he wants, but we just talk. Talk more about politics, work, everything. Okay. As long as you know what you're doing. Of course I know what I am doing, Aunt Z. You demand. <laughs> what do you do, sir? It's not you are they seek for this house. Well, I still got project or Okay. <sighs> I'm tired. Oh, quite a long day. I was about to come out, start looking for you. <laughs> what held you up? I was stuck up in traffic. Okay, um, how did he go? Uh, well, well. She's smart. We talked about everything. Mm, sounds good. Be a little bit of persuasion and then she should open up to you. I hope so, but she's really smart though. I mean, she has to be smart in the first place to get your attention. Because, oh. you see, if you see my brother, my big brother Raf, smart guy, he likes smart women. <laughs> Raf, Raf. <laughs> I don't understand this level of washing. It's obvious you need something. What is it? Raf. <laughs> I know you like you cannot predict my moves. Are you gonna talk or not? Okay, mm -hmm. fine. I wanted to ask for a little favor. Can my babe be coming here from time to time? Oh, I see. So this is why you left the house you and Kendra share. Yes, Kendra is crazy, and then mom believes whatever she says. I had to leave that house. She just left now, looking for you. Looking for me? What does she want? Uh, well, she was trying to find out why you haven't made up with Sophia. Should you please stay out of this? That was the same thing I told her. <clears throat> Let me go take a shower. <laughs> Ralph, Ralph. <laughs> Only one Ralph. Bro, now I requested for a little thing. What's your answer? You're free. <laughs> My ma. <laughs> My ma. <laughs> hey. <sighs> Hi, babe. Hi. Mm. Hi. Come in. I'm sorry I'm here again. I was thinking um, we could have brunch together. Um, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just coming from the hospital though. Mm -hmm. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. What did the doctor say? Um, he said my glucose level is low and what I had is called a tonic clonic seizure. What does that mean? I hope it's not that bad. Oh well. She just said my sugar level is low and I should up it and keep it balanced. Oh, thank God. It's not as terrible as I thought. Ah, uh, well, thank God. Although you said I should be monitored. Okay, that's good. What? Why are you always coming here? I thought I told you already. Not having friends is not enough reason. Uh, how about because you're warm, you're nice, you're easy to talk to. I have a boyfriend. Okay. Okay, why don't you make yourself comfortable while I get splits for us to... Sure. Get... Should I help you? No, no, it's fine. <laughs> My man, looking good. 
What is it? Uh -uh, come on now. So I always want something. I just want us to talk. Look, um, I have to get to work. Besides, I'll need to stop at Dubai's place briefly. So I'll see you when I get back from work, okay? Um, well, Dubai is my topic. Come on, it will only take a minute. What is it? Um, I think it's time to shut down operation. Find the video Dubai may have made. It's been weeks now and it's obvious that there's no video. And how do you know that? Brother <laughs> Raf, you were the same person that said you were talking to Dubai last week and you guys were talking about leaked videos online and mm -hmm. how she said she would never upload an intimate moment of somebody. <laughs> she didn't know it, but then she might have actually brought our investigation to a close. <laughs> ben, which investigation? So you, 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 have no, you had no idea that you were undercover. <laughs> it's, it's over. We have to end the operation. <laughs> ben, no. I'll see you when I get back from work. <laughs> Agent Raf. Hmm? Investigation don't end. <laughs> Agent Raf. Surprised Andy came here today after seeing Rafa here yesterday. <laughs> Andy likes competition. Uh, they like to be the subject of their interest. Well, I like the attention, but there's really no competition. Andy and I are back. And I'm so surprised that I'm not chasing after him like I can to when I call him. Because Rafael seems to be an alternative. I don't know. For me, Raphael is the guy and Andy is the alternative. You can't tell me another. I still do not know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, let me ask you. Have you gone to Andy's house since you guys got back together? Well, I, I haven't, but I'll single there. This is because it will feel like you're cheating on Raphael. Come on, what are you talking about? Rafael and I are nothing, and Rafael knows Andy is my boyfriend. Mm. Mm. Then stop smiling whenever you're expecting him. Hey, see enemy of progress, so. <laughs> Which one are you doing now? <laughs> Always smiling, like a roasted goat. Well, I'm just having fun, the fun of my life. Mm -hmm. So, just allow me to be myself. Enjoy, <laughs> yo. Enjoy. Uh, okay, I think that was <coughs> Raphael. Okay. So, baby, please help me watch this, okay? No, I won't. It's will burn. Don't burn this food, though, because I know you. It will burn. <laughs> uh, we'll go chop smile today. Zeno. She's around. Okay. Hmm. Why are you guys are making it smell so good? <laughs> I could get you some if you don't mind. Who made it? Why are you asking? Answer no. Who made it? <laughs> okay, I did. I made it. Please, can I have some? Sure. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting. <laughs> Hey, Zina. Hi, Rav. How are you doing? I'm good. Mm, good to see you. Oh, you're not looking badly. Mm, thank you. So, 
what game would you like to play today? <laughs> okay. Card uh, or chess? Chess will do. Let me beat you like last time. Mm. Mm. I am about to bury you. Forget that last week. Oh. Okay. Forget that last week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it. Okay. <laughs> Sophia. I've been waiting for you. Do you want to call? How are you? I'm okay. Ralph, what's going on? How do you mean? You hurt me the way you did, and all I got was a phone call from you a few times wanting to know if I'm okay. I figured you needed some space. It looked like you needed yours too. Um, I'm sorry for what I did. Look, I'm only here because I've forgiven you. But I'll need you to make me a promise that this will never happen again. I need you to make that promise, then we'll let go and move forward. <clears throat> Sophia. Something was happening to us before I went to that lounge. You and I this. asked you if you wanted us to end things and you said no. That was because I did not know what to say. So, what are you saying now? I need some time to be sure. Sure of what? Are you saying someone else? No. Then what's happening? You messed up the way you did and I forgave you, yet you're sounding like I need to beg to be with you. Never. Beg me for what? I told Kendra I didn't want to do this. Sophia. <sighs> what is happening? Kendra, Kendra, don't you have any house? Big old house now. Your, your presence here is stressing me. Sophia just left the house angry. Uh -huh. Ask Sophia now. Why are you asking me? Or ask Ralph. Ask Ralph, of Never mind. Um, I, I see you didn't make up with Sophia. No. Why? We both need to be with people that excite us. Look, we've been floating for a while now. Not wanting to hurt anybody by speaking out. Okay, uh, how did she take that? Uh, well, she was really upset, but from what she said walking out, it's obvious Kendra for me to come. Kendra, Kendra. Kendra doesn't know when to stay away. Yeah. Eh? Well, her coming here because Kendra convinced her to come. She obviously convinced her that we don't need each other. Oh well, then I think it's safe to say that seeing the baby will be a morning and night thing. Not doesn't have to be when you're coming back from work anymore. I don't know what you're talking about. How are you gonna go into her life, make her fall in love with you, collect the deal and go out? Don't go there, go fall in love. You eh? Ah. Ah. Babe. Yes, baby. I'm here. What is going on? When are you coming back home? I made dinner. Excuse me? Who is in your house? Baby, what are you talking about? Unlock this phone and read the text message from my sweet darling. What sweetheart? Unlock the damn phone! 
Babe, I don't Why are you being so If you proud? dare lie to me, I will dial that number and say hi. Who is she? Babe, we started seeing each other after our breakup. But you told me you were not seeing anyone. What was I supposed to say? You made me happy. And she's the reason you prefer coming here and not pushing for me to come over to yours? Baby, you never made a fault to come to my place. Don't you dare do that thing you usually do. Don't you dare do it. Do you know what? I would love you to leave my house. Babe, come with me. I you. said leave my house. I said you should leave. Are you deaf? Get out from my house. I know you would say you told me so. No, I wasn't going to say that. But that I can't believe you sent me away that fast. Wow, I am proud. I knew he was going to do what he knows how to do best. Cheat! Anyway, Raphael will soon be here. And that might just be him. What are you doing here? Please, I didn't come here to fight. But you came here to talk anyhow, huh? Can I speak with Vane, please? What exactly do you want to talk to me about, Kendra? Dubin, I am here to tell you the truth about my brother. What truth? I know that he has been coming here. I am not dating your brother. I don't care if you date him. He's coming here is because your friend walked me out. I don't understand what you're talking about. This was exactly what I wanted to tell you the day Benjamin and I came to see you. We wanted to ask if you made a video of Raphael. A video? Why would I make a video of Raphael? A shakedown. Most people does it these days. And you saw him at his most vulnerable state. So, why would I make a video of him fighting for his life? How about when he was with you, tired, or asleep, or even drunk? Look, Kendra, you may have an opinion about me, but trust me, you do not know who I am. Come on, Dubin. He met you in a lounge, took you to his house, slept with you, and none of his son in instead of coming here. For what exactly? Love? No, honey. The goal was to make you trust him and confess. Take down or delete the video if you did one. So why are you telling me all this? Dubin, I stand for fairness. My brother Rafael has a girlfriend. And her name is Sophia. He told me he broke up with her. She wish. Hate me or like me. I have told you nothing but the truth. Go and verify.
Hey, Zainab. What's with the attitude? Because you're such a disgusting person. What? So you came here looking for a video? Pretending to be Dubem's friend, huh? Kai, you are lucky there is no video because it would have been released today. Say no, I don't understand. What? Who told you this? <laughs> Who else? If not that insolent sister of yours. Um, can I, can I speak to Dubim? Mm -mm. No. Please. No. Go home and never show your face here again. And say hi to Sophia for me. You have seen her already? How dare you go tell Dubim about the video? What? Kendra, you did that? I what? I was only trying to help Raphael. See what he's about to lose. Are you crazy? Are you listening to yourself? How, who are you to actually tell me what I'm losing and what I'm not losing? If you have the slightest idea of who I am not supposed to lose, you would know it's Dubim. That prostitute you picked at the lounge and slept with? It's not a prostitute! And I didn't sleep with her! Do I have to say it? Do I have to scream? Easy, easy, easy. 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 Hey, 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 easy, easy. It's, it's okay. I'm here, fine. Here, here. I'm okay. okay. <laughs> easy. Would you like to take a shower? I feel like drinking 50 liters of water. 50? <laughs> Girl, you're drunk. <laughs> no, I'm okay. <laughs> okay, just just relax. Okay, you cook water, okay? <sighs> you get a glass of water? <sighs> okay, I'm okay, I'm fine. <laughs> just get hey, hey. 50 liters of water. <sighs> She was drunk when I even brought her in here. I didn't sleep with her. What? Pick your things and get out of my house. I don't want to see you anywhere around me. I, I told you to stop. Please, I, I, I don't understand. What do you mean by she's not an Ashi and you did not sleep with her? That was the first day she was coming to the lounge. I brought her home drunk. Acted like I slept with her and offered her money the next day. And she rejected it. Uh, bro, how come you never told me? I always wanted to. Why are you guys 
has already acted like you already know who she is. And I don't want to defend anything. I like that girl. I like her so much. Yes, come in. What are you doing here? I have something to say to Dubem. Dubem, I'm sorry. Sorry for what exactly? Um, I was the one who put him up to this. The idea was to get the video and disappear. But then when he found out there was no video, he, he couldn't come out of it. And that was when I realized he had fallen in love with you. His girlfriend broke up with him. And that was because he told her about you. Ever since then, she has been trying to get back with him. Or he refused, all because of you. Why are you the one telling us this? Why not him? Um, well, that's because I caused all of this. And I, I know my brother, Raphael. He's about to recoil back into his shell and shut everyone out. I'm sorry. And, um, Dubé, he really likes you. Take care. Hey. Look, I'm sorry. I am not to beam that discreetly rejoices when she knows you're coming here. <laughs> uh, look, I value our friendship. I really enjoy our friendship. That's why I'm sorry. you had your key. I wanted you to get the door. Dubin, 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 Dubin. Please, hear him out, okay? Dubin, I'm sorry. For what exactly? For being stupid and not realizing the quality of person you are. I know I shouldn't have been coming here for that reason. But me staying back is no longer because of the video. I am sorry. I guess it's easy for you to think whatever about me. After all, you picked me up from a lounge, took me home and slept with me. I didn't sleep with you. You didn't give me the permission to, you were drunk. I'm sure you would have known if I did. You didn't? No, I didn't sleep with you. 
I have been battling with the possibility of that. Why didn't you? <sighs> Apart from the fact that you were not conscious and couldn't give me the permission to, uh, I didn't want to take you to the house. The other day we were having a conversation and I was wondering what you were doing there and out of place. Then I asked if we could go have late dinner. Um, and I said yes because I thought you were talking about your house. I actually was not talking about my house. There's a five, um, four star restaurant a few blocks away from the lounge where we were talking, yeah? Before I could get to my car to pick up my wallet and come back to pay the bills, you already ordered spirits and you were coping. Yeah, that was because I was nervous. And you were saying rubbish. <laughs> okay, I took you home and you were asking for 50 liters of water. <laughs> oh, I give you a glass of water for starters. And before I go back to the room, you're already asleep. So, what do you want from me? I know you have a boyfriend. Not anymore. We, we broke up. Oh. Go out with me then. The other day Zenob told me off. I drove home with this pain in my heart. I couldn't bring myself to imagine not talking to you. You know, all the fun, the plane, even eating your meals. <laughs> so, essentially, you have a long trip. Okay, if that is your judgment, I accept. <laughs> Thanks for not touching me without my consent. Can I touch you now? Jesus, no. Does this mean I'm kissing my girlfriend? Yes. Come here. I love you. I love you too. Yes. Comprehend. 